Hey guys, it's Lance at Max Sound Solutions, and before I get into the video, I'm going to be giving this bad boy away for free to one lucky subscriber. It is the QuizLab aluminum stand with USB 4 SSD enclosure. It features an NVMe slot enabling you to upgrade up to 8 terabytes of storage at 40 gigabits per second, so you'll be getting around 3,000 megabytes per second read and write speeds. And it has three USB A 2.0 ports and an additional rear audio jack. It also has a hole making the power button really easy to reach and keeps your Mac mini elevated off your desk without taking up any more space. And I'll explain at the end of the video what you need to do for a chance to win it. And if you've watched my external home folder video, this might be a great enclosure to do that with. Check that video out here. And if you just want to buy one, the link is in the video description or the upper right hand corner of the video. So you know when you get that dreaded message, your iCloud storage is full and you're like, oh, what a pain. But I have a way that I deal with it. It's pretty simple. I let it get full and then I basically clean the pipes. I get the Drano out and I pour it down the sink and I free up a lot of gigs. My method for doing that is using two photo libraries. One is my main photo library. It's not connected to iCloud. And the other is my iCloud photo library, which is also my system photo library. Every Mac has a system photo library. And the default location for your system photos library is in your user account inside the pictures folder. We'll open that up. There it is. Photos library. And I should be saying photos, not photo. Because because it is the Apple Photos application we're talking about here. So what I do is I export all my iCloud photos and bring them into my main photo library, and then I delete everything in my iCloud photo library, which opens up space from my iCloud drive and deletes all the photos and videos from all my iCloud syncing devices. And I'm gonna show you how I do it, but first we're gonna have a little iCloud syncing lesson, and you can skip ahead if you want to. I have chapter markers down below. If you have multiple computers, each one is going to have a system photo library. You don't have to sync those with iCloud if you don't want to. If you do, all your photos and videos are going to sync to those iCloud libraries and your phone and your iPad, whatever devices you have. So just as a quick example, we're going to take a photo with our iPhone. And that photo gets saved to our iPhone's photo library. And then that gets pushed up to iCloud if you have iCloud Photos syncing turned on. And that in turn gets pushed out to all our other iCloud enabled devices. Now on the upper left, the MacBook Pro does not have iCloud syncing turned on. So it's got its own photo library that is totally separate from the iCloud photo libraries. All the other photo libraries are all in sync together. So if I delete one photo from one of the iCloud libraries, it's gonna be deleted from all the iCloud enabled devices devices, including your iCloud drive. So I've opened up my system photos library, which I have on an external drive. You can see use the system photo library is grayed out. That means it is the system photo library. Otherwise you'd be able to select it. So it's grayed out and there's the path to my iCloud photo library. And if we look at iCloud, iCloud photos is turned on. So this library is syncing to iCloud and you can set any photos library to be the system photo library. It does not have to be on your internal drive. And you'll save a lot of internal storage by not having your photos library on the internal drive. But you can only have one system photo library per user account. So to create a second photos library, you have to hold down the option key and click on the photos app. And then this window opens up and then you click on create new and give it a name and then save it to the location, the hard drive you want it to reside on and you can have as many as you want but only one of them is the system iCloud photo library so just to show you this is my main photos library and use system photo library is not grayed out because it's not the system photo library and iCloud features are not available for the non-system photo library. And the other thing to note is Spotlight is not available to use with this photo library either. You can search within the Photos app to find a photo, but you can't use Spotlight on a non-system photo library. 
So getting to the main point of this video, when you get that message that your iCloud storage is full, the thing that's most likely taking up most of its space is your photos and your videos that you're syncing to the cloud. So I've got my iCloud system photo library open at the moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the photos. I'm in view all. That's important. You want to be looking at everything that's in your library. I select them all, which is command A, and then I export them into a backup folder on a hard drive. It can be the same hard drive. It could be a different hard drive, but you have to export everything. And this is very important. You want to go to export and export unmodified originals. And I have 370 some odd files there. You could have a lot more, but you want to export as originals. Otherwise they'll get compressed and they'll make JPEGs from your raw images, etc. So you want to export as originals. And then I'm going to create a new folder and this can be on whatever hard drive you want to put them on. I'm going to create a folder called photo backup and give it a date. And then I click on export originals and it'll start the export process. And depending on how many photos you have and videos, you know, it'll take a while and you can see the little wheel at the top. It shows you how long it's going to take. You can click on it and it'll show you the progress bar. And we'll just speed this up. And now that we finished backing up our iCloud photos, we're going to close out that photo library and open up our main non iCloud photo library, which is where I want to put all the photos. So now I've got the main photo library open and I'm going to import the photos that we exported from the iCloud photo library. So I'm going to go find that folder. I'm going to hit review import and then I'm going to import all. And I know I have very few photos in here, but I did this twice. And the second time around, I just didn't want to do it all over again. So I'm just importing a small amount of photos, but you get the idea. You'd have a lot of photos in there from your iCloud storage and you're just importing them into your main photo library. And you can look at the progress bar to see when that's done. And when it is, you're finished. And you can keep the backup folder you made with the iCloud photos in there just for safekeeping for a while. You don't have to go delete that right away. That's not taking up the cloud space. So our final step is to go to our iCloud account via a web browser. I'm using Firefox and there it is. I'm going to click on the photos app and I'm going to go in there. And I know again, I have very few photos in here. It'll take a little while for the photos to populate. This is the fastest way to clear stuff off all your devices. So you're going to select all your photos, command a or hold down the shift key and select all the photos and hit the little trash can. Delete 26 items from all your devices. Yes, delete. But we're not done because we now have to go to recently deleted and delete everything again. Otherwise they stay in the cloud for up to 40 days and they will not be deleted from your devices. You won't be cleaning up any space. So for these files to actually be deleted from all your devices in iCloud, you have to delete them again from recently deleted. And this will instantly wipe everything off all of your devices so that you free up your iCloud storage. And as we can see, I freed up a bunch of space instantly on my iCloud account and there's nothing on my phone. So having the two photo libraries is a really good way to go. You've got your cloud library and you've got your non cloud main photo library where you keep all of your photos. So the other way to do this is to do it from your iCloud photo library on your Mac, your system photo library. You can go in there and delete the photos there and then go to recently deleted, delete them again, but it's not going to delete them from all your other devices like your iPhone or your iPad instantaneously like it does the way I showed you when you do it on the iCloud website. So it's just something to think about. If you prefer not to do it or the iCloud website is laggy, you can do it from your Mac's iCloud system photo library. But just keep in mind, it'll take a while before the files will actually disappear from your other iCloud syncing devices. 
And obviously, you have other things to deal with, like your notes, your iCloud Drive. You know, iCloud Drive can eat up a lot. If you're backing up your iPhone to iCloud, I have a video on that as to not do that, just to back it up on an external drive. I show you how to do that in the video. And honestly, I would never back up my iPhone into iCloud unless you just want to spend all that money on an iCloud account and you feel safer having all your data and information in the cloud. I personally don't like doing that. I keep it on a local computer hard drive. And that's about it, folks. We just wiped out our Photos app, so it's ready to go for the next 20 odd gigs. I have to go clean out some stuff out of my iCloud drive to free up more space, but again, your photos and videos are what really eat up most of your storage. Um, depending, you know, some people have tons of documents in their iCloud drive and some people need more space. But honestly, I mainly use iCloud for my photos and videos to sync between my gadgets. All right, now we've gotten to the part of the video that you've all been waiting for. How can I win that lovely QuizLab SSD USB 4 enclosure? All you gotta do is post a photo of your Mac Mini setup and put the hashtags QuizLab and Mac Sound Solutions, and I will parouse the internet and find one lucky winner, and then I will announce it in an upcoming video, and I will ship it out ASAP. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, give me that thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next Max Sound Solutions video.